if I meet someone and I know so much about them, my brain is just like, I'm trying not to say a bunch of stuff. Like I remember I randomly ran into Patrick Stump on Swanston Street in Melbourne. This is in like 2013. They were touring Save Rock and Roll and I was doing my show and I was going to go to the Fall Out Boy concert but um, I was trying to book in my nights in Melbourne and then I was like, oh, the concert clashes with my show. I'd have to cancel my show. It doesn't matter. So I didn't go to the show. And I've seen Fall Out Boy live two times, 20, 2007, 2008. Okay. And then, so I'm walking down Swanston Street and I spot this man and I'm like, that guy looks like Patrick Stump. And I'm doing this. I'm like walking and I'm like glancing and like walking and glancing and walking and glancing. And so he can tell that I, I like clocked him. He can tell. And then I get close and I'm like, hello, um, I'm so, excuse me, are you Patrick Stump? It was like, yeah. <laughs> and then I just start talking at him. I just start talking at him, dad. Oh my God. Oh, it's so, I don't want to think about it. Oh, I just start talking at him. I just, cause I'm, I'm like, and I'm, I kept saying like, this is so random. This is so random. I can't believe this is happening. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I was trying to communicate that like, this is so weird that I'm bumping into you, Patrick Stump, when your band, Full Out Boy, is like the main thing that made me interested in performing. And I do like stand up and character comedy and stuff. And so here I am doing my show and I don't even live in Melbourne at the time, right? I don't even live in Melbourne. I'm just here doing my show. And I knew you were performing as well, but I couldn't come because I was doing my show. And it's kind of amazing that I've bumped into you when I was on my way to like, I don't know, do something at the venue. And um, I've like randomly bumped into you and you're the reason that I'm even a performer. And here you are. And I couldn't communicate that because I was like, I was just, I was just like overwhelmed. Because I'm like, that's that's Patrick Stump. <laughs> that's Patrick Stump, the vocalist and composer of American rock band Fallout Boy, whom I've been a fan of since 2006. And here I am, but begin to him. And I, I was like, I didn't, I couldn't. <laughs> and he was so nice. He was so nice. Oh my God. It was so embarrassing. Every now and then I think about it and I cringe. And the only thing that brings me comfort, Dad, is the knowledge that this is a band Fallout Boy where the fans are like, there's no way I was even the weirdest fan interaction he had that day. Like fallout boy attracts the mentally ill, the transgender, the um, oppressed, <laughs> the weirdos, the freaks, the queer. Well, I guess, you know, transgender queer, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, this is a band that like, there's just, there's no way I'm even the weirdest person he interacted with that day. And I just, I just felt bad. I was like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Am I like holding you up? And we got a photo and it was, it was really amazing. But I, whenever I think about it, I just, it's really hard to not just like shut down <laughs> because I wanted to do a better job of my like one chance. And I wanted to say more eloquent things and I couldn't think of the things to say. And so that's the thing. If I spend too much time like with someone, but not with someone, right? If I spend too much time like consuming someone's art, then if I was to ever meet them, I wouldn't know what to say <laughs> because how do I communicate? Like I've spent all this time with you and you've brought me comfort when I really needed it. And I really appreciate that. And you made me um, feel really like calm at a time when I needed someone to be calming, but I also didn't necessarily want to be like social, but it like made me feel social. It's just a weird, it's like a weird thing to try to, try to, you know, and then there's also an element of like, and I also would, you if you were interested in that you know 